Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back once again with my A10T or my A10M training. Friends, I've been playing with these gradients and having a blast, and I added a new skill today that makes it a whole different project. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so once again, uh, when you're playing with a gradient, we're going to use the M166 command, and the first thing you really need to know to get the gradient you want is how tall your object is. So my little snake that I'm printing, that I have a lot of fun with making the gradients, is 8.1 millimeters tall. So 4 is the midpoint. So then what we can do is go into the settings, printer, and manage. And then in the machine settings, we've got a start code at the end, the M166, that I currently had set to change at 6 and 6.3. So the object I was doing then, I was trying to get the middle, was about 13 high. So since this one is 8 high, I'm going to change it at 3.8, and I'm going to change it at 4.1. So there's one layer, because I do 0.3 millimeter layers for this project. And then I'm going to use 0, which on my printer is blue, and I'm going to use uh, 1, which on my printer is yellow, for the default mix. When I hit close and close and slice, it creates that file. I'm going to go over here to my file name and I'm going to call it A10T. And then I'm simply going to hit save to removable drive. Typically, I've been printing them because it's connected to the printer, but let me show you why this is a bonus. Now that we've got a name, let's actually hit the save button so it got put on removable drive F. Let's hit the explorer and let's find that file on removable drive F. If we right click and choose open with, we can open it in notepad. If we scroll down really quick, check it out. Here's our M166, all our codes, and it's awesome. So let's do this. Let's make a copy. So I'm just doing copy here. And I'm going to take the first one. And remember how we named it or we used 0 and 1? So I'm going to put 0 and 1 after it. I'm going to edit it again with Notepad. And this time I'm going to scroll down. And if you remember right, my 0 is blue and the 1 was yellow. If we do 0 and 2, I've just built a blue and red combination. If I changed these numbers so there was more of a gap between them, it would do a cool gradient in between them. Right now, I just want the red on the bottom and the blue on the top, and that's what I'm doing for this project. So I'm going to do File Save, Close, and then I'm just going to rename it here. So where this one was 01, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to click the second one, and I'm going to do Control V, but make it 0, 2, because it goes from the blue to the red. And I can continue to adjust these. If I find out that I'm not quite in the middle, I can edit. I have been reloading these, which was my bad. I did not understand how to edit the G code, obviously. But now that I know how to edit the G code, oh my gosh, it is so easy to make crazy combinations, especially with the A10T, where I can take my blue and my yellow and make amazing colors of green. So my friends, I am totally fired up about how editing the G-code is going to allow me to make all kinds of crazy gradient combinations that I wasn't even thinking about in an instant instead of the time it took me to load Cura each time. And the last part of this, friends, is I want to send Lane another shout out. Oh my gosh, this skill that helped me get back my printer start codes is going to be one of the coolest skills I've learned in a long time. So thank you very much for sharing that with me. Friends, when you give me these tips in the comments, they are priceless. And of course, friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.